This video is sponsored by Blinkist. It seems like every time I make a banknote video, I boldly declare something is the coolest banknote in the world. The Hungarian forint is the coolest under UV light, the Philippine peso is the most colourful, the Australian dollar is the most beautiful. You get the idea, but is there a set of banknotes that has it all? Yes. Let me introduce you to what are in my opinion the world's coolest banknotes, for real this time. And if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. These are the Lake District Pounds, and they are amazing. They're what's known as a local currency. Whilst the UK as a whole uses pound sterling, several smaller regions, cities or towns have issued their own banknotes to try and encourage local spending, especially amongst tourists. They're backed one for one by pound sterling, and though some people might dismiss them as little more than fancy gift vouchers, they can be exchanged back to standard notes free of charge, and you can receive change from them in the form of ordinary notes or coins. Or if you wish to keep them as a souvenir or collector's item, the money goes directly to local charities. Whilst banknotes that serve such vast areas like the euro are so deliberately bland and generic, these local currencies are often hyper-specific and can tell much more detailed stories important to a very particular area. The Brixton Pound, for instance, features David Bowie, who was born in Brixton, and then the Kingston Pound portrays local buildings and landmarks. These Lake District notes are no different, featuring famous residents living and dead and their contributions to the community and UK as a whole. It's important to note that these banknotes were first released in 2018 with a different design and intended to be updated yearly. Because of this, each note has a printed expiry date, and I'm going to be examining the second series, released in 2019. Like the standard pound, there's a 5, 10 and 20 pound note, although no 50, likely because of its high value and general scarcity. There's also a 1 pound note, however, something the UK hasn't had since 1988. And unlike the standard pounds, these notes are all the same size, but do feature braille-like raised dots to help the blind and partially sighted distinguish between the denominations. Behind these raised dots can be seen the currency's incredibly clever symbol, a sideways LND for Lake District, stylized to resemble the ordinary pound sign. But let's take a closer look at the notes individually. The one pound sees Charlotte Mason, a pioneering turn-of-the-century educationalist who lived in the Lake District and set up her famous House of Education there, the phrase, what if your books came to life, can be seen beside a book doing just that, its pages fluttering and flying away with the birds. On the right is also the text, step outside and see. These little sayings are not quotes from the featured person, rather just generic sort of inspirational platitudes, and I'm not a huge fan of them. The new standard £20 note, for instance, features a quote from J.M.W. Turner, the man on the note, and I think it would have been much more appropriate to have these as direct quotes from the featured person instead. Still, the note is undeniably charming, exploring the theme of fun and adventure, and having a very quaint and British storybook illustration feel to it. The reverse, by contrast, is fiercely modern, and almost reminiscent of Norway's recent designs. There's a bird of prey in silver foil in front of a mountainous skyline, with the peaks Great Rig and Fairfield identified. But where these notes really come to life is under UV light. The front simply illuminates the writing, whilst the reverse sees constellations light up the sky. How amazing is that? This is probably the most creative use of UV ink I've ever seen on a banknote. The Lake District is renowned for its dark skies in a heavily light polluted country, so this is a wonderfully fitting addition to the series. Now talking of books coming to life, do you ever wish reading would just fly by? Well now it can, with this video's sponsor, Blinkist. And before we move on to the rest of the notes, I just want to tell you a little about them. Blinkist is an app that condenses non-fiction books into 15-minute summaries, both written and audio. It means you can quickly learn the core ideas and general insights of over 3,000 books without all those pesky pages. The evolution of money, for instance, details the history of currency, from primitive coins all the way up to modern-day digital currencies. It's also home to some of my all-time favourite books, Freakonomics, The Hot Zone, Crisis in the Red Zone, and Born to Run all tightly pressed to squeeze out the goodness. Plus, it now offers full-length audiobooks for up to 65% off the standard price. Those books really will fly by. The first 100 people to visit Blinkist.com forward slash half asleep Chris will get free unlimited access for a week to try it out. And if you decide to join the 12 million active members already using Blinkist, you'll get 25% off the price. Anyway, back to the video. Next comes a £5 note, featuring beloved British author Beatrix Potter. Now Beatrix Potter is so iconic that her work has already been featured on many British stamps, plus an entire series of UK coins. 
Seriously, there are 15 different Beatrix Potter designs out there, and they're adored by collectors. The note explores the theme of creativity and freedom, with many characters from her work, including a mouse, a frog, and a rabbit, as well as dragonflies and peacock butterflies. A pencil represents the idea of creativity, along with the quotes that aren't really quotes, let your imagination go wild, and there's magic everywhere. The reverse portrays a rabbit in silver foil, along with more mountains, fleet with pike and haystacks, and once again, the stars come out when exposed to UV light. I just want to reiterate, that is so cool! It's also here that I notice some microprint, tiny letters and words that make up a texture or background. If you zoom in on this pink stripey bit here, you'll see it actually repeats the sentence, money that loves the lake district, and it even glows under UV light too. And although not technically microprint, the holographic bluebell at the top right features an exceptionally detailed pattern, difficult for counterfeiters to replicate. The £10 portrays British mountaineer Sir Chris Bonington, who briefly became the oldest person to summit Everest, aged 50. Interestingly, he's the only person on these banknotes to still be alive. This note bears the theme of resilience and determination, and features many of the mountaineering activities the Lake District has to offer, including rambling, Nordic walking, and camping. The quotes, there are always horizons to go beyond, and what will your adventure be are displayed beside images of compasses, further seen on the note's reverse. Once again, two peaks are shown, St Sunday Crag and Helvelin, and constellations including Orion and Taurus become visible under UV light. This note in particular really reminds me of the 50 Swiss franc note, another mountain-themed design, which also lists the country's peaks, celebrates the nation's outdoor sports, and shares the contour line imagery. Finally, we reach the £20 note, carrying the image of Hardwick Rawnsley, a conservationist and one of three founders of the National Trust. For those outside the UK, the National Trust is a membership-based organisation that I'm personally a member of, dedicated to environment and heritage conservation. They run and look after many important sites in the UK, including Fellfoot Park, the dry stone boathouse of which can be seen to the left of Rawnsley. Their logo, an oak sprig, is prominently referenced on the note, along with a rower and a rambler hopping across some stepping stones. An oak sprig can again be seen on the reverse, beside the mountains Dow Crag and Old Man of Coniston, and a starry night sky under UV light. I should also point out that whilst none of the notes feature a typical watermark, when held up to light they do reveal this sort of crisscross pattern in the paper. But as truly incredible as these banknotes may be, the story of the Lake District Pound doesn't have a happy ending. At the end of last year, the currency announced it was shutting down, citing an unprecedented rise in contactless and wearable payment, rendering their continued operation financially unviable. And besides, with everything going on in the world at the moment, there's been no tourist season this year anyway. The currency officially ended on the 31st of January 2020, the expiry date printed on the notes. Maybe it was inevitable, and as a banknote collector it's easy to get bogged down by sentimentalism. But rather than mourn their loss, I think we should celebrate this incredible, colourful, creative and unique currency. A wonderful footnote in the history of British banknotes.